guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to what I typically do um, and it's going to be a little tutorial on how I drain the drainage layer on my Exoterra tanks um, and I got this video idea from my friend at ARC Exotics um, I'll leave a link to his Instagram and YouTube channel below um, and basically because I mentioned in my previous video uh, that the misting system uh, fills up the drainage layer in my 30x30x45 30 by 30 by Exoterra tank um, and he's just basically asked me how I drain it and what process I use. Um, and I will start off by saying that I don't do anything special. Um, it is pretty simple and pretty easy, but it might help a couple of you guys out and it will sure help him out. So if you do want to watch the video um, and gain a little bit of advice or maybe just a little bit more knowledge, then stay tuned. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Right, so as you can see, um, I do have one of the Exoterra backgrounds in, one of the foam backgrounds, um, and that has little cutouts in the back uh, that you can run like cables down for if you had like a heat mat in there, um, if you didn't have like a jungle terrarium like this, because um, obviously I have the drainage layer in the bottom and you don't want a heat mat in the water. So basically all I do is at the top, um, just there where the cutout is, um, they've got little sliders, like a little latch to stop any... Um, like insets coming out when you run the cables through as you can see i've got cables going in there and the tubes going in for my misting system um but i've just stuffed it with tissue to stop any flies escaping but yeah so i literally just take the tissue out and you've got the little cutouts now basically all i do is ram this pipe right down in there and um, right into the water um until like say it's touching the bottom um but before i do that what you'll need to do is fill this tube up with water um, and it's going to be hard for me to do that because i need two hands to do it but i'll try my best and um, basically just show you guys how i do it so yeah i'll just go do that quickly and i'll pick up the camera when i'm done so currently sitting on the floor um because it was just easier for me to show you guys basically all i do is get one end of the tube and hold that up to a tap um, and literally just fill it up until all the water is flowing through and there's no air left in the tube and once you've done that you want to hold your thumb over the end of the tube because it creates a little vacuum i don't know if ever you did it as a kid when you had a straw in a cup and you put your tongue in there and you can keep the liquid in the straw um, and it's the same process with this so all i'll do now is ram this end in there um, and i've got a little bottle here um, that i'll be putting this end of the tube in and like i said i'll be ramming this end of the tube down um, and all you want to do is keep this end in this cup um, below the actual drainage layer of the tank and basically this just I don't know how it works it's science and gravity I don't know anything about that and basically yeah so you just ram this in there leave this bottle with a tube in below the tank and it just sucks the water out into that cup and then obviously you dispose of it however you want so I'm just going to go and um, ram this in there and I'll pick the camera back up once it's in so I just want to show you guys how it looks. So obviously the tube is stuffed right down the back and then I've just got it running over the top and down here. I haven't got it in the bottle yet, but I have still got my thumb over the tube. So I'll just set the bottle up and then I'll show you guys how it drains out. So literally now all I'll do is put the tube in there, miss a little bit, nice. Um, oh, and again. And then I'll literally just leave that to drain like that. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it just draining into there um, and I don't know how fast it will go, but you should be able to see the water dropping down. It doesn't take very long at all. Um, I think I'm using a six mil um, air tube from like a fish tank bubbler. And um, yeah, so like I say, it doesn't take long at all. Obviously, if you had a big tank, then yeah, it would take longer, but there's not really much um, water in there anyway. So it shouldn't take too long. So I've now drained out as much as I need to, guys. Um, as you can see, the water level is about there. And I've left it at this sort of level because it helps retain humidity in the tank. Um, and basically, obviously, when a tank gets warmer, uh, if there's more water in the tank, then obviously it'll increase humidity. Whereas if you drain this right down, obviously there's less water in the tank. So when the daytime temperature picks up, the humidity won't increase. Um, but obviously, if you've got like a water system in there, like a waterfall or something like that, obviously there'll be a constant flow of water in the tank. Um, but I'll just show you guys what the tube looks like when it's done. So obviously, because there's no more water to pick up, um, it's picked up a lot of air. So there's like little airlocks in there. And I find when you actually use um, this air tube, uh, once it starts picking up the air, it makes like a funny squeaking noise. So it's pretty easy to tell when it's done. Um, but there's not really much more to show you guys. Um, it's a pretty boring and simple process, but I thought you guys might find it a little bit useful and I thought I'd just give my friend at ARC Exotics a bit of a hand. 
Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like. Uh, and if you want to see further videos like this in the future, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, and if you do have any video ideas for me, uh, just drop them down below. If you've got any positive comments, just leave them down below. Um, but yeah, make sure you check my friend out at ARC Exotics. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one.